for you today? Are you happy? Oh, that's great! I am happy also. Do you know why? It's because we are now on our lesson 4 for quarter 4. And today, we are going to talk about distinguishing among types of journalistic writing. Are you ready? Great! So, in this lesson, you are going to distinguish among types of journalistic writing. And they are news report, opinion article, feature article, and sports news. So let's go! Let's check what you know about the lesson. So here, you are going to read the report below and then answer the questions. You may write your answers in your notebook or you can use your drill boards. Are you ready? That's awesome! So here is the news report. Now, you may go over the news report again and look for the important details that you need to remember because we will be answering some questions later. Alright, now you are ready, so let's go! Is giving the news report. Let's check your answer. Ad Mendoza is giving the report. That's very good. Question number two What is the news report about? Now let me check your answer, kids. Alright, there is a powerful typhoon that will strike the Philippine area of responsibility. So if you have answered only powerful typhoon, that is okay. But remember, it is better to answer questions in a complete sentence. Number 3. When will the typhoon enter the country? Alright, so the answer is... Yes, of course, it's Monday, June 15. Great job! How about question number four? When or where will the typhoon hit? Where will the typhoon hit? Now let's check your answer. The typhoon will hit some parts of Visayas and Mindanao. Very good! Number 5 
what will be the effect of the typhoon in the affected areas. This is supposed to be areas. So I repeat, what will be the effect of the typhoon in the affected areas? Okay, so the answer is Okay, very good. Possible floods or there will be possible floods in landslides due to the amount of water. Because of course, there will be a heavy rain coming. That's awesome. Number six. Why do you think there is a need to suspend classes? I repeat. Why do you think there is a need to suspend classes? So the answer in this question, kids, is not found in the news story. So you should answer this question by yourself. Why do you think? All right. Yes. It's because for everyone's safety. It's dangerous to go outside, especially kids, especially students. And number seven, what type of writing do you think is the news report above? What type of news writing or what type of writing is the report about? Oh, let's check. So what do you think is the answer? Try to think about it. Mm -hmm. Great, it is a news report. It's the news. That's awesome. Great job in answering the questions. Now let's go to the next page. Now let's try to review this, kids. Do you still remember our previous lesson on different information resources? You have studied these in lesson or I think in quarter two. Yes, it's in quarter two. So I repeat, do you still remember our previous lesson on different information resources? All right, now let's try to identify these things. What is that? It's a newspaper. Very good. How about these? Very good. Those are books. And how about these? It's a dictionary. Great. So, for our review, you're going to choose your answers from these three informational resources. Newspaper, books, or dictionary. Are you ready? Alright, let's go. So, which sources of information is being described? Write your answer in your activity notebook, or on a paper beside you, or even in your drill boards. Let's go. Ben is trying to look for the definition of catastrophe. So what source should Ben use? Okay, so what is your answer? That's very good. It's a dictionary. Number two. It is a medium for reading or recording information in the form of writing or images, typically composed of many pages bound together and protected by a cover.
What is your answer? Of course, that's awesome! These are the books! Number 3 It's a source of information where we can see headlines, obituaries, and editorial. Uh, what is the answer? Very good. These are the newspapers. Alright! That's awesome, kids. So, we are now talking about the newspapers. That's why we need to go on because today we are going to identify types of journalistic writing. So, let's move on. Let's read the following text. Answer the following questions and identify the kind of journalistic writing being shown. Don't worry, I am going to give you choices. So this is the first article. Let's read. Okay, so what is the title of the article? Very good. The title of the article is Fast Food. Number two, what is the opinion of the writer about his article? There are lots of opinions expressed by the, um, by the writer in this article. Let's try to point them out. First is this one. Fast food may taste good, but it's not good for you. Every once in a while, it's fun to go out and have a fast food meal. That is just his opinion because for, uh, for other parents, they might disagree with this. There are parents who do not allow their children to eat any fast food. So those are just examples of the writer's opinion. Okay, now for question number three. What type of journalistic writing is the article? Is it an opinion or a news? Opinion article or news article? Of course, it is an opinion. Okay, very good. Now let's go to the next page. So here is another article and let's read. Alright, what is the news report about? Yes, it's a car crash. So, when did the accident happen? 
That's very good. In the midst or the accident happened in the midst of morning rush hour. Number six, what type of journalistic writing is this article? Is it a news article or a feature article? That's very good. It is a news article. Good job. Now let's look at these another article. So for question number seven, what kind of sport is mentioned in this article? Yes, it's clearly stated there, kids. It is basketball. Good job. And number eight, what type of journalistic writing talks about sports? Is it an opinion article or a sports article? All right, because you have there the, the word clue. Okay, so it is a sports article. Very good. Now, let's take a look at the last article. So it's from the Wall Street Journal. Now let's read. Let's answer question number nine. Who are being compared in this article? Very good. The two men are being compared in this article. It's the one who became the manager of a small department of that company and the other man is the president. Very good. Now let's go to number 10. What type of journalistic writing is this article? Is it a news article or a feature article? All right. Very good. It's a feature article. Good job, kids. Let's try to dig deeper about these types of journalistic writing. Now let's go back to the first one, the news report. So a news report is any new information on a current event. Okay, that is your clue, your current event or unusual situation that has meaning to a set of readers. So when retelling news reports, remember to include the answers to the WH questions. So if you can remember, I already have mentioned this in our past lesson. The WH questions are the following. Who? Who are the people involved in the news article? What happened? Where did it happen? When? The, uh, when did it happen? Why did it happen? And how it happened? So remember kids, a very good news report consists of all of these 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 elements. 6 informations, I should say. Now, let's go to number 2. The second one is feature article. These are not meant to deliver the news firsthand. Okay? 
They do contain elements of news, but their main function is to humanize, to add color, to educate, to entertain, and to explain. They often recap major news that was reported in the previous news cycle. So those are the feature articles. So the difference of these two kids is for the news report, it only tells you what happened. It only gives you the the details of the or uh, the major details of the news report. And when we say uh, feature articles, a feature article um, will give more explanation. Okay, explanation and the purpose is to educate, to add color, to humanize, and to entertain the readers. Now let's look at these. This is from the Philippine Star news page. So all of these articles here are news reports. Or we can also call them news articles. And this one is an example of a feature article. So this article gives you information, okay? How to become a successful entrepreneur. Alright, now let's go to the next page. Oh, we also have this one as feature article. I'm sorry. Okay. So, it gives information how to resist the lure of computers. Okay, these are what we call the how-to features. Now we have the third one, an opinion article. So it is a piece of writing that expresses the personal belief. Okay, so your clue here, class, is the personal belief of the writer about timely issues. So it is supported by facts. It regularly appears each issue under the same title and at the same location of the page. So if you try to browse your newspapers this time, you try to get, okay, you try to get a newspaper if you have a newspaper at home, you try to look for the opinion page. Okay, so you can see there it's the same title. You have you can see the very big uh, written words there, opinion. So that is the opinion page, and the opinion uh, opinion articles are written there. It is meant to convince readers to agree with what you feel, or what the author, or what the writer feels. Or think about a topic and here are some Paul opinion statements so the writer may use some of these statements to express his personal beliefs Now, let's try to look for examples of these opinion articles. Take a look at this. So, you can see there, class, this is the opinion page. It says so. Look at that. And also, the editorial in the newspaper is also an opinion. Opinion article. And now let's go to the fourth one. The sports news. It's one of the most interesting aspects of the noble profession called journalism. So why do you think it's called the most interesting aspect? 
this because most people okay most people are engaged and interested in sports even though we do not play even though we don't do much sports sometimes we are fans of sports teams right we do watch sports games it covers news like basketball or volleyball tennis something like that and sports editorial and sports features and here are examples of new, uh, sports articles and it is found these articles are found in the sports page as you can see just like the opinion page you can see there okay we have the title okay so let's try to answer these questions this time what type of journalistic writing that are not meant to deliver the news firsthand? The answer is feature articles. Number two, what is the purpose of feature article? Try to, to recall the answer, class. Yes, the answer is to humanize, to add color, to educate, to entertain, and to explain. That's very good. Number three. In retelling the news report, what are the things to remember? Oh, that's very easy. I know you can do that. Always remember, or a writer should always remember to... Alright, very good. To include the answers to your WH questions. Alright, very good. Number four. What is the purpose of news report? The purpose is, yes, to tell the no, new information on a current event or unusual situation. That's great job. Number five, why do you think sports article is one of the most interesting aspects of the noble profession called journalism? Yes, because it covers different sports which people are interested in. And number six, what is the purpose of the opinion article? Of course. Yes. It is to express personal belief about an issue. And number seven, why do you think it is important to have the knowledge on types of journalistic writing? Okay, so for question number seven, I am going to leave it to you to answer. So this will serve as your homework. All right, now let's go to the next page. <laughs> so Nathan is asking you a question. What are the different types of journalistic writing? And here comes Timmy asking you also another question. Can you give examples of each? So let's answer Nathan's question. 
The different types of journalistic writing are... Yes! First is news report. Second, feature article. Third, opinion article. And how about the last one? Do you remember? Okay, sports news. Very good, kids. So, for your answer or for your answers to Timmy's question, I'm going to give that as your homework. You can do that after class. Okay? That's awesome. Let's go to the next page. Let's check the proper column into what journalistic writing is described. So for number one, expresses the personal belief of the writer about timely issues. So what do you think is that? Okay, the answer is... An opinion article. Very good. Number two, it helps brighten up the sports page. It's a sports news or sports article. Great job. Number three, the main function is to humanize, add color, to educate, entertain, and to illuminate or to explain. Alright, so the answer is... That's great job! A feature article. Information or inform, sorry, number four. Inform the readers of what is happening in the world around them. The answer is, that's very good, a news report. And number five, it's a new information on a current event or unusual situation that has meaning to a set of readers. All right, so what is your answer? Very good. It's a news report. Well done, kids. Congratulations. Yay! Now read the following text. Answer the following questions and then write the letter of the correct answers. Okay, 
So that is all for today, kids. I hope you learned something today. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. See you next time. Goodbye.